Yeah, I mean, I wasn't there, but... I mean, genuinely, these are people who are just seeking right. asylum. They're seeking to escape violent situations. I can't blame anybody for doing that. I have a wife. I have a kid. I'd do anything. Like if, if my family was under the threat of constant violence, if there was no work, if there was no way to support my family, I'd put my family ahead of a border. I'd put my family ahead of law and order. Yeah, I mean, uh, so like, do you, do you just, do you not believe in borders at all, or like? I'm an anarchist, so. Just no state, no borders, no, no, ta <laughs> no taxation, no government, no nothing? Right, yeah. Where you I go? mean, it depends on what you believe in terms of government. I believe, you know, that communities can self-govern, you know. But I think that's different than having a monolithic state that's in control. Right. I mean, I, I do tend to agree that, like, inflated government is pretty shitty. And that's, I mean, I would argue that's why a lot of public schools fuck up, like, particularly in Milwaukee. They they keep saying, oh, we need more and more funding, but I think that's a little deceptive, you know. This is a completely I, different topic. It is a completely, but I, I, know, I, I would but, strongly disagree about that. I mean, are there holes? Yeah, I'd say the biggest holes are probably in paying administration and supervisors, paying them and putting all the resources there. They go, That's why when they tried to give themselves a raise while they were trying to cut budgets right. for the teachers, there was that out. There is too much administrative overhead, <laughs> but that's that's the nature of government bureaucracy, right. isn't it? And but, that's why... But the shitty thing is, is then to put that on the teachers and to make <laughs> them pay when, you know, you got... I think, well, I think the socialists are a little, like, naive and, like, they, they immediately assume that corporates, corporatism is the only hierarchical oppression, but, like government bureaucracy also sure. counts right oh, yeah like so that that's why I mean, i'm a libertarian socialist yeah exactly so i mean right. I, don't, I don't even really know where i'm going but like from my sources i heard that it, they were not refugees and they were they were like preemptively violent and shit like that I, I mean that they had a chance to stop off in mexico to get jobs and health care but they decided to come here instead and then like a, you know havoc ensued well, and, i mean that's kind of counter to everything i've heard I mean, the fact is that they came here, some of them have been offered to stay in Mexico. A few have. Most want to come into the United States. That was the plan from the beginning. I mean, do you have, you know, small pockets of people that want to be violent or whatever? Maybe, you know, but for the most part, just like refugees all over the world, you have people that are fleeing horrific situations. You know, what are they supposed to do? I don't what know. What would you do in that situation? I got none of the answers, really, but <laughs> right. uh, maybe, like, fix, like, have a revolution wherever you're at, but... That's what we're trying to do. I mean... <laughs> Nothing sort of a revolution is going to change things in such a deep way. And that's the thing, because a lot of people, some people on the right and some people on the left, both try to tackle the problem not at the root. So you have the all fruit, these uh, the fruit, issues. not the root. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've heard that saying before. Right. Yeah. The fruit, not the root, right? So you got to get to the root, dig the tree up, and plant something that's healthy and beautiful. I feel that. I feel that experience. Well, we'll see you. Cool. Holy shit! It's definitely a cold one.